morning, you guys. <clears throat> so I want to share something really awesome with you. Um, I just saw a, a really good video by Teal Swan. I'm gonna put it. Um, I'm gonna put it in a separate video. It's all about truth. How we all need the truth. Um, I started thinking about that and how it relates to my own experience here. See, whenever I hear anything anymore, I'm so used to doing introspection. I don't ever look outside anymore. Always am I fully living in the present, in the truth, not making a fantasy, uh, a fantasy world, reality, anything. So I'm always doing that. And here's the answer that I was given. You see, what I understand right now is that I have had spiritual powers since I was a very young child. And um, <clears throat> by that meaning, being clairsentient, um, as I told you, having the blue aura, uh, the, the demonic attack. Um, and there was also a sound that I was hearing. It kind of, it kind of sounds like Nithyananda's sound, except I called it the lady because it sounded like a female voice. And um, this is when I was six years old, I first heard this sound. And it sounded like the lady was saying something to me, but she was speaking so fast, I couldn't understand her. I have been open to the cosmos since I was a very, very young child. I never understood what was happening to me. And because nobody around me would let me speak about it, it made me fearful. It made me believe that something was wrong with me. You see, I'm only now fully coming into who I really am. And... It was actually one day while fighting with uh, the fake one that she said the name. I can't even remember it now. It's a super empath. It began with H. Um, I didn't even know what it was. And as you can tell, I still don't remember the word. But I went to go look it up, and it is a super empath. This is, in fact, what I am. This is, in fact, what I have always been. And this is a fact, people will absolutely love me when they first meet me. They will tell me their whole life story because they feel so comfortable with me. I've been told I have very loving presence around me. People are comfortable around me. Children absolutely love me. And I'm very easy going and down to earth. Or people will absolutely hate me. And even they don't even know why. There's just something about me they don't like. And um, it is that quality about me. It is that quality about me. And I've said it all along that I was always the light surrounded by the darkness in my family. I was the truth teller, which is why I was scapegoated. Out here on this on this internet, I am the truth teller, which is why I'm being scapegoated by the former guru and that fake one over there. The, the thing that's happening here is that they are such good pathological liars that you all have fallen for them. And I can't fault you for that because I fell for the, uh, the, uh, the former guru as well. Hook, line, and sinker, I fell for his shtick. Um, I can't fault you guys for it. I can't fault you for it. But here's what Teal Swan said this morning, and uh, I live by this. We, we must force ourselves to see the truth. See? Truth can either be something that's very relieving to us, or it's going to be something that de can destroy our whole life, but it creates a positive change. And people who are in the sleep are afraid of change because they're avoiding that pain. They're chasing that pain pleasure cycle. So they're avoiding that pain and only looking for pleasure. What happens? You get stuck in a very, very bad cycle. As I listened to her speak this morning, the only thing that kept coming up to me was I lived in that place where I was in delusion so bad. I believed I had a good family. I, I used to always just say, ah, you know, we're just a typical Italian family. We yell and scream at each other, but we love each other. No, that was just a lie. That was just a lie. And uh, that was what I wanted to believe. I really wanted to believe that my family loved me because I loved them. 
I put goodness on people that didn't deserve goodness. And I, I know for sure that there are a lot of you out there doing the same exact thing. And uh, it will come to hurt you very seriously if you don't stop right now and do some introspection. And here's what I would like to share with you. Uh, I looked on the Fake Ones page this morning and uh, she's done about four readings. She's had to read from something. Um, because I'm warning you about the pendulum and the tarot cards and the, the Ouija board and the channeling, uh, she's putting it out there even more. She's got about two or three videos using the pendulum and show, she's drawing you in more and more to the darkness. She's drawing you in more and more to have these interdimensional beings possess you as they have possessed her. And if you don't believe me, I would, I would refer you back to her guru page. Look up a video and I'm not going to get it for you. And this is part of, I believe, what Muji was trying to get across to me. That people will take advantage. And if you want the truth, you're going to have to go and get the truth. Okay? There's a video on her page, um, something about fighting off uh, dark entities, dark spirits. And you will hear how she speaks against all of these things. And yet now, here she is doing it. She is thoroughly possessed by dark entities and evil spirits. And I'm gonna tell you, I've, <clears throat> I've told you all that the demon attached to her showed itself to me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you exactly what that looked like. I was literally sitting in my chair to my work, my work desk. What happens in the third eye when something from the spirit world shows itself to you? It's not like you see it like looking at a picture. There was all blackness I was looking at something in the room and everything went dark. There was all blackness and I went up into the third eye and this thing, it's like swooped like this, swooped in and it was further, far away from me in the, in the space of cosmos, wherever it was. It was far away from me, but it swooped in and it just looked me like this, like telling me, stop, stop. Don't expose her any further. Stop. Do you understand? Which is why I'm continuously letting you know she is possessed by a demon and dark entities. And you will see from her videos when she was actually a guru, she was never a truthful guru, but she was an actual guru where she actually taught you something, somewhat of truth. Um, and she literally lied to herself and made herself believe that by attacking Nithyananda for nine years that she was doing the right thing. This is part of what Teal Swan was talking about when we live a lie, when we don't see the truth about ourselves. If you go find that video, you will see how she spoke against all these things. And now she's doing these things. Not only is she doing these things, but she's drawing more and more people into the darkness. So I am what is called in your world as a super empath. See, I didn't even know about any of these things. I was so ignorant to this mystical stuff. I'm going to tell you, I was kept isolated my whole life, first by my psychopathic mother, then by all of the abusive, the, the, throughout my whole teenage years, from the age of 14 to 21, I was with a sociopath. And then from 22 to... 33 or whatever whatever age I was it was 16 years that I was married to the psychopath I was kept isolated that whole time and the only thing I ever did and I really didn't even go to church every week I always just had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ he was always with me and I I always felt him with me <coughs> and um, I was very analytical scientific as you can see I went into nursing it was all about the sciences but here's where I had always come from always from the heart I went into nursing I wanted to help people my doctoral dissertation check this out my doctoral dissertation was on the um, I can't even remember the title the correlation of 
the, I believe it was something similar to this, the correlation of transformational leadership and nursing horizontal violence. Nurse to nurse violence. Nursing is a very violent profession. You would think it would be full of love and caring because we're supposed to be the caring profession. Well, let me, let me explain something to you. All of the caring professions, doctors, nurses, therapists, um, police department, fire department, there's two types of people that, that go to those professions, narcs and codependents. Everything that you've seen play out on this page is what plays out in the real world out there on a daily basis, except we're all asleep to it. So in these caring professions, there are only two types of people that, that, that are drawn to these prof professions. They're narcs and they're codependents. Narcs want the power and codependents want to save everybody. There is extreme horizontal violence that goes on in these professions because you're dealing with narcs attacking codependents. So that was actually what my PhD dissertation was on. So um, I know the, the fake one said that I had never written a book. Well, my book was never published. Uh, but I have written a book and in fact I did over a year's worth of research for this book I didn't copy it from other books that were out there like she did because in fact if this was her own work if any of those books were her own work she wouldn't have to read from them just what I've told you this whole time now it's going to be all up to you if you want to live in, in delusion and denial and believe you're going anywhere on a path with that demon you're only fooling yourself and I hope that you all will take a listen to Teal Swan's video and I'm gonna tell you right now you see I'm smiling here see when Nithya Nanda started attacking me it's because I defended Teal Swan I told his demons to stop attacking her that's when he told me he wasn't my guru any longer. And they all started attacking me. And you must understand this. If they attack Teal Swan, then she is also coming from the light. You see, that fake one over there did a tarot reading on Teal Swan and said, oh, she's possessed by demons. She's absolutely possessed by demons. The former disciple that uh, came out, the whistleblower against Nithya Nanda, well, you know what? That person helped Nithya Nanda lie out to everybody out here. You know what she did? She didn't just help him steal your money, steal your children, but she helped him implant these demons in hundreds of people. That's what she helped him do. What she did was a crime against humanity. This is what I've been trying to tell you people this whole time. You're, you're in so much of a sleep. It is really pitiful. It is really pitiful. I hope you all will, will watch Teal Swan's video and start to wake up. You see, for me, I have been out here from the beginning saying, I don't want anything from anybody. I'm not out here to make a name for myself. I'm not out here trying to get money from anybody. No, it's the ones who are attacking me who are doing that and you all can't see it. Or you're overlooking it because they're, they're providing you something in your life that you're missing. And unfortunately, you're, you're being pulled further and further into the darkness. And um, some of you are not in the spiritual community for enlightenment and uh, then you belong with these people for those of you that are in this community for enlightenment I'm urging you to listen to Teal Swan's video and uh, do some introspection and force yourself to be able to see the truth pray to the source that he will allow you to see the truth and move away from these dark beings
So as I turned my laptop on this morning, uh, I see that the Nithy and Amanda hackers have done something else to my computer because uh, three or four command prompt pages opened up as I started my computer. Um, I've, I've never seen such darkness before, not that I was aware of, not that I was aware of. And uh, it's amazing for me to witness this. It really is amazing for me to witness this. This is in fact angels and demons. This is in fact spiritual warfare. We are in fact in the end times. And the darkness is calling itself light and the light and they're calling the light darkness. And you all are attacking the light because you see the light as darkness. This is your delusion and this is your sleep. You are seeing the darkness as light. Wake up, wake up, wake up. In the name of Jesus Christ, wake up. I will once again remind you all, if you want to know that what I'm saying is the truth, I would suggest that you go on Amazon and get Truth Seeker's book, Spirit Realm. You've got to do the work. Nobody can do it for you. And um, if you don't want to listen, then you pay the consequences. And that's really all I want to say. Um, I'm feeling at this moment like, you know, I'm sure every single one of you out there has had something big happen in your life, like you got married, something that was wonderful, a, a good event, positive event, like you got married or you, you uh, graduated from college or I know that fake one doesn't understand that, neither does Nithy and Anda. Um, how about um, whatever, 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 something that you were planning for a long time and uh, it, it's close, it's close to being fulfilled. Well, that's what I'm feeling right now. That is what I'm feeling right now. See, this is why Nithy and Anda goons are running around. You know, when, when you ever see the commercials that when a light is turned on, the roaches just scatter? Well, that's what they're doing right now because whatever they've been doing with my account that I just recovered is now getting ready to come to the surface. And they're running around like scattered roaches trying to cover their tracks at this point. And um, I'm about to close down my final AT&T account to never use these phones ever again. Um, I have my new uh, security router, I have my new computer, and maybe this weekend I will set that up. And uh, all of this, this darkness and trash will be closed. It will, it will be it will be like I just power washed myself. You see, that is what I'm looking forward to. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. It's a beautiful place to be. So I'm finally coming into my power and understanding that I've had this power my entire life except the demons that were surrounding me beat me down and I was unable to see it. Oh, I see it nice and clearly now. And um, I found uh, on Truth Seeker's site a one-on-one -on -one with him to get rid of this demon. It's gonna be $300. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit before I'm able to do that. But I have, um, when listening to the audio Bible, the key that I need to do is fast, fast and then spend an entire day praying to get this, this uh, demon out of here. And uh, that will be occurring this weekend. Um, probably, well, I have to work today. So I, I, may, I may just schedule that tomorrow will be my day of fasting and praying all day long on a Sunday. How beautiful is that? So uh, that's what's planned for me. And uh, Yeah, it's amazing. You know, what really shocks me is I've been out here for almost a year now telling you all how I've been attacked by Nithyananda and his goons and uh, his whistleblower, how I've been attacked by her, how I've been attacked by that fake one. And yet you're all still believing the lies that they're spreading to you. And now to understand that you're, you're believing 
a lie that she's telling you that I have hacked into her computer and I'm doing criminal activity when I am still being hacked into? I don't understand that the, it's stupidity. I can't even say ignorance. It's, it's, it's plain out stupidity. It's plain out stupidity that you can believe a pathological liar like this. And let me tell you something. No one can who professes to be from the light can pathologically lie. It, it, it's, not, it's not a part of the inner being when you're from the light. Only the darkness lies. That's why they call him the father of lies. And yet you are following that demon as if she is from the light. And you are all going to get burnt. And I pray this morning that Jesus Christ, Father of God, the source of the universe, Archangel Michael, will bind all of these demons by the power of the Holy Spirit. Chains of fire bind them and cast them into the pits of hell for all eternity. I pray that every single one of you are able to wake up and save yourselves. And if not, enjoy the ride.